Hello everyone, uh, your boy Dylan here, and today we will be reacting to SML Movie President Brooklyn Guy. So, as you you guys, all, all of you heard about the election and stuff, um, I, I'm honestly not into that kind of stuff. I just hope that the country, this the whole country, won't fall to the ground, if you know what I mean. But anyways, I hope y'all are having a great night, a great Wednesday. <coughs> For some reason, I forgot what day it is. Anyways, I hope y'all are having a great night. And without any further ado, let's begin. <laughs> you guys ready to see who wins the presidential election? Yeah, why is, why is Rose crying? I voted for myself. I brought myself in. You voted for yourself for president? Yeah, you have to be at least 35 years old to be president. So ever since I turned 35, I always write myself in. Well, you know you're not going to win, right? Like, Harris and Trump are going to get millions and millions of votes. Well, sure, yeah, I don't have billions of dollars for campaigning like they do, but I do have a lot of jobs, so every time I help somebody out at work, I tell them to write me in for president, and sometimes they do. So maybe this is going to be the year I win. It doesn't matter who we vote for anyway. It's all rigged. They're taking our voices and our choices away and all our rights. It's not a democratic society. It's a barbaric society. <laughs> She's been doing this all as I said, I as long as our country doesn't uh, fall in the ground, then yes. you voted for him. Not into yeah, it. Yes, me too. See, Marvin. Some people listen. Oh, no champ. Maybe you'll learn someday. Who'd you vote for, Jeffy? Peepees and Jinies. You wrote peepees and Jinies on your ballot. Oh, man, I hope it don't move to him. That's not a real person. You're telling me peepees and Jinies isn't a real guy? No, he just wrote that to be stupid. Oh, well then I got this election in the bag. Oh, shut up, shut up. The election results are on. <laughs> yeah, shush, shush, shush. Breaking news, okay? It's a close presidential race with Kamala Harris having 179 electoral votes and Donald Trump having 178. But I'm getting word Brooklyn now that guy. Biden with 181 electoral votes is Brooklyn T. Guy. He is now the president of the United States. Meet your new commander in chief. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yeah, I did. Marvin, I'm the president of the United States. For how? You know what's weird? I exactly. I live here. But the whole upper northeast got me. Or unless people. it was photoshopped <laughs> or edited. Oh my God, Marvin! I get secret service. I can't believe it. Brooklyn guy's the president. <laughs> That's crazy. President, the Oval Office. If you need anything, I'll be right up there. Thanks, Mr. Secret Service Man. Oh my god, the resolute desk. Fingerprints, 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 my germs. Uh, <laughs> this is so cool. How many people can say they've licked the resolute desk? <gasps> that must be the presidential phone. Blah, blah, blah. I'm the president. Make laws and stuff. This is awesome. King in the castle, king in the castle. I have a chair. <laughs> oh man, I love Borat. <gasps> I'm gonna watch it tonight while laying in Abraham Lincoln's bed. And then I'm gonna go over with a blacklight to see if he bung it. Hello, Mr. President. And there she is. The girl who sits under the desk and sucks me off like I'm Bill Clinton. No, sir, that's not my job. I'm your secretary. Even better. Now hurry up and get down there. I'm ready to get impeached. No, sir, I'm here to congratulate you on your presidency and tell you about your day. Oh, well, uh, real, real quick, real quick question. Um, where is the Joe Biden ice cream button? Oh, it's right there, sir. So I just press this button and I get ice cream? Yes, if you press it, you can get whatever you ask for. Wait, whatever I ask for? Like a genie and a lamp? Yes, but you get more than three wishes. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, wait does that mean this is also the nuke button? Yes. So I can just press this button and nuke anybody I want? Yes, but I wouldn't recommend it. Even Bradley T. Berry, the kid who wouldn't let me borrow his crayons in kindergarten? Well, you could nuke him, but you would also nuke anyone around him. Anybody around Dang. Bradley T. Berry deserves to die because there's a chance just doing that to anyone. No Seems off. Nuke Come on, man. Whoa, I guess Bradley T. Berry looked pretty close, huh? Apparently so, sir. So, anyway, sir, today we need to start wow. inaugurating you. Pretending and, uh, like nothing uh, happened. Um, isn't there supposed to be, like, a top-secret book with all the president's secrets in it? Yes. Well, let me read it. But, sir, we need to get on with your day. I can't start my day until I have the secrets. Give me the book. Okay, fine. Here you go, sir. Oh, Nicholas Cage was right. I spelled the secrets. Okay, where is it? Yeah, 9-11, inside job, just like I thought. Wow, it actually says they were originally going to use 12 planes. That would have been messy. Well, what about JFK? Oh, wait, so he didn't even get shot? He just had pop rocks and coke and his head exploded? That's nuts. What about Area 51? I knew aliens were real! <clears throat> Sir, your day. Be fine. What do I have to do? Well, you have a call with Vladimir Putin. Oh, okay. So, um, what is the phone number for Russia? Oh, just dial 4. Oh, I can only speak dial. That makes sense. 
Uh, hello, Vlad? Hey, this is Vlad! Stop it! Stop it! You, listen to me, you stop it! No, no, they shouldn't be afraid, you hear me? Stop it! Well, you dare slam the president of Russia! You know what you did! <laughs> that was easy! <laughs> Ice cream time! Mr. President, we gotta get you out of here! You're in danger! You got with me! So let's talk about the news. Trump won the election, which means it's going to be another four years of crazy headlines. Well, thankfully, we've got Ground News as today's sponsor, and their mission is to help us make sense of it all. Ground News is an independent, nonpartisan app that shows stories from left, right, and everything in between so you can see through misleading information and get closer to the truth. For every story, they'll show you which sources are reporting on it, if they have a political bias, and how reliable their reporting practices are. So you can directly compare coverage and see which points are being emphasized, exaggerated, or left out entirely. And if you want to get a better sense of where this division is coming from and how our media contributes, check out their blind spot feed, which shows stories that are disproportionately covered by one side of the political spectrum so you can break out of your echo chamber and see the bigger picture. You'll quickly start to understand where your uncle gets his information from when he's doing his own research. So here's why you need ground news. As you're getting flooded with more articles about Trump for the next four years, you'll be able to think critically, break out of your media bubble and maybe even find a little common ground. If you want to try it out, go to ground.news sml or scan the QR code on the screen. They're offering you guys 50% of their vantage plan, so jump on. Time to get out of the media spin and get the real story. Thank you to Ground News for sponsoring this video. All right, here you are, Mr. President. Thank you, Marvin. He carries me on his shoulders. It's amazing. What, I just realized that here? link, um, that Mr. sync, President, lip sync what are you doing was here, off. Mr. President. Well, I'm so glad you asked, Marvin. See, I nuked Bradley T. Berry's house, and he just so happened to live in Virginia, which is very close to Washington, D.C. So the radiation got dangerously close to the White House, and they told me I had to leave. They wanted to take me to Camp David, but I said no. I want to go to Marvin's house. Oh, okay. Well, what's this book? Oh, this is just a top secret book only for presidents that presidents can read full of presidential secrets, Marvin. It has all of the secrets. Did you know Marilyn Monroe gave Sloppy Toppy? I know that because JFK wrote it down. Oh, I want to read it. <laughs> no, Marvin. Look, it says only for presidents. Are you a president? No. Exactly. And are you a president? No. No, because they don't let women be presidents. I'm the president. Only me. Yummy the book. What's this button? Oh, oh, that's the button that lets me get whatever I want. Check this out. m ms here you are. So you want m &M. You want some M&M's, Marvin? I like peanut M&M's. Peanut M&M's. Hey, peanut M&M's. There you go, Marvin. And tonight, is I'm that button that really button? Oh, what's this right here? Oh, Marvin, you're not going to believe this. This shit is crazy. So you pick this thing up and you put it to your ear, right? And then you push these little buttons here with the numbers on them. And you can call anybody in the world as long as you know their number. It's called a fucking phone. Oh, I know it's a phone. But, but then why did you ask what it was, Marvin? Because I, I, I just meant, like, is it special? Or... It's a phone. Sir, please, we need to discuss what you need to do today. You keep saying I need to do things. What do I need to do? Well, you need to appoint a cabinet. I don't know anything about painting cabinets. I'm the fucking president. Paint them white. I don't care. Not paint a cabinet. Appoint your cabinet. Hmm. Oh, like helpers? Yes, like, uh, who's your vice president? Uh, Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady? Yeah, yeah, he's the GOAT. I want him to be my vice president. Tom Brady. Well, I'm not going to pick fucking Patrick Mahomes. Yes, Tom Brady. Okay, okay. What about, uh, Secretary of Defense? Um, Amy, me. Marvin. Me? Yeah, congratulations, Marvin. You're going to be in charge of wars and shit. I don't want to do that. It stresses me out. I don't want to go to war. Well, good. We're already thinking the same. Skittles. There you go, Marvin. Good boy. Can I be something? <laughs> sure, you can be the... Good boy, the Marvin. Nation. Good okay. boy. No more school, dog. Okay, cool. So that about does it, right? No, you need to address the public and tell them what you want to do as president. Ugh. God, I hate giving speeches. I need something to loosen me up. Um, beer. Okay, yes. I'm ready to face the nation. <laughs> Can we somehow add palm trees? <laughs> While I think Upper GX that Brown just, Super just Gamers, sneaks and trees, tries to, no, no tries to steal it and he like, uh, knocks him out, cracks him. I don't hey, think you're able to do that. It's me, the president, the big cheese. So apparently you guys want me to come up here and tell you all the stuff I'm going to do as president. So that's what I'm going to do. So first of all, no more Ticketmaster. I don't like that shit. It doesn't make any sense. I buy tickets on StubHub and SeatGeek, and they just transfer it on Ticketmaster anyway. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's like going to Coke and buying Pepsi. It's bullshit. No more Ticketmaster. Bye-bye, Ticketmaster. See you later. Okay, what else do I not like? Electric cars. Fuck them. I, I don't like that. I like gas, okay? Only gas cars from now on. But gas is too expensive. So $1 gas forever. 
One dollar again, not per gallon. Just one dollar for all the gas you need. That that'll fix it. Um, and weed is legal everywhere. All the states. I like weed. I like to get high. Everybody's gonna get high with me. Weed is legal now. Um, and if you steal, you get your hand cut off. No exception. No matter what you steal, even if you're like a little kid, doesn't matter. You steal a candy bar, you cut your fucking hand off. So that oh my god. Out of you, they're like, I'm not gonna hire you. You only got no hands. That means you're you're a stealer. You're a thief. Okay, that that'll take care of a lot of problems. And uh, what else do I not like? Twizzlers. I, they're too chewy. I'm not gonna make a law about it, but they're too chewy. I don't like them, so I say no more Twizzlers. And if you buy Twizzlers, you're not allowed to vote because if you buy Twizzlers and out of all the candies, you can't make uh, good decisions. So the that's laser. All I got. What is um, that? I'm gonna open up the questions. Uh, hey, you with the gun in the back. What about you? Mr. President, watch out! <laughs> If you jump faster, we would both be okay. Marvin, did you see that? I almost got shot. You're supposed to be my secretary of defense. Why didn't you defend me? Well, I'm dealing with a lot right now. Okay, well, whatever you're dealing with can't be worse than what I'm dealing with. My secret service agent got shot. I don't even know his name. Well, you see, North Korea's on the phone. They keep shooting nukes into the ocean. Wait, you're messing with Nemo? My buddy Nemo? My boy Nemo? And Crush the Turtle? Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Hey, I know Finding Dory sucks, but that's no excuse, okay? I don't like America. I keep shooting missiles into water. Fuck you. But don't you stop it. You stop it right now. Stop it. No, I'm gonna eat that. Stop it. I'm gonna nuke you. All right, that's it. Nuke him. Uh, sir, I'm sorry. I have some bad news. You see, they recounted the election, the votes, and uh, Donald Trump won. Oh, he, he did. Yes, he's, he's president. And technically, you shouldn't even be in office because that doesn't happen until January. It's a whole thing. Oh, I see. Um, Chloe? No. Under the desk? No, no, that doesn't even work. Wow, okay. I am... Fuck you! <laughs> what? Joe Biden? Psych motherfuckers, daddy's home. Ah, Trump! Mm -hmm. Give me that book back. Well, can I just read one more page? No, this is a top secret book for presidents only. Are you a president? No, you're not. I am. I'm the president. I haven't declassified the book yet. Wrong, 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 what is your biggest fear? Uh, snakes. Uh, big buzzy bugs. <laughs> that buzz <laughs> in your ears. Big ones that sting. Um, roaches. I hate those. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.